What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be having a close look at the Aranda and we're also finally going to be finishing the outdoor Japanese Top View Ranchu Pond. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. Please check out our sponsors, the links are in the description and make sure you're following us on Instagram and Facebook. Today we're going to be having a close look at the Aranda, see how they are doing, see how they are all getting along. They have been trying to spawn quite a few times, or I should say they have spawned quite a few times, but not many eggs have been released and nothing worth me trying to raise them. However, they are all doing really, really well. I've just done a water change, completely clean the tank. So let's have a close look at them and see how they're doing. And then we can head on outside and check out the Top View Ranchu Pond, get that fully cleaned and get it ready to be finally finished. So first of all, let's check out these Aranda. A few moments later. Just before I show you the outside pond, thought I would show you the Aranda we've got indoors. Now you will notice some of the new ones have changed a little bit. This one in particular has got loads of black markings on it. And now a lot of people would say that's ammonia burn. However, the, the fish has been in this tank for around three, four weeks now. And as you can see, he's absolutely happy and healthy. None of the other fish are displaying any of these black marks, but it's quite apart from the other orange aranda, which is right up there at the end of the tank. But it is really, really interesting to see these developing colors. And I'm not actually sure why. I'm wondering if it's maybe the increased light. Maybe it's causing some more melanin to come out in the skin, which is causing that black pigment. I'm not too sure, but these guys are really hungry. I fed them about four times already today, but they will just not stop eating and eating. But they're doing absolutely great. I'm really enjoying them and it will be nice to get a few more colours, I think, in the long term. A few more calicos. Also, it'd be nice to get some red and whites as well. The pond, the tank, sorry, is looking quite cloudy at the moment, but I have literally just done a 50% water change, done lots of gravel hoovering, which is probably clouded up, but I would say after a couple of, a couple of hours, it will start to clear up. But overall, the indoor Aranda are doing really, really well. Currently, I have seven fish in the tank in total, and I think we're going to be going up to around 12 originally i was going to go for 20 well originally i was looking at stocking this tank and if you have one fish for the first 20 gallons and then you have a another and then you can add fish for every 10 gallons using that old rule of thumb which i think is really outdated then technically i believe i can have about 43 around in this tank which is absolutely crazy but i'm definitely not having 43 i thought 20 would look really full in this tank and they'd have plenty of space then i went down to 15 but i think i'm going to stick at around 12 so we've got space for another five aranda in this tank i think we've got a few more colors to come in which will be really really nice and they'll still have plenty of room they'll have around 150 liters per fish or 125 liters per fish which is absolutely plenty loads of room to swim loads of food and lots of regular water changes so now you've seen the arandas let's take a look at the top view japanese ranchu pond as you can see it's beyond pea green soup color it is so green you can see there are so much algae in the water that you can hardly see the fish there's a little top view ranchu down in the bottom there but the algae has covered the glass and the water is absolutely full of it now this isn't bad for the fish at all it just means we can't simply see the fish you can see me just siphoning some of the water out now and just look at how green that water is those fish have been living in absolute darkness for ages and i thought right it is completely it's time now. This pond is looking absolutely horrible. I'm not feeding them as often as I should be. And if it's going to be clear, I'm going to be seeing these fish much more. Obviously, the green water is great because it's sucking out all the nitrates and the phosphates. But in reality, we want to be able to see those fish and I want to be able to enjoy them this summer. You notice that we have the box out the back of the pond that's got all of the plugs in it. That runs the water feature and the garden lights as well. 
We've got the two dual BioFlow filters in each corner. We've got a couple of sponges and then just loads of biomedia. So there's, I think, around five or six kilos worth of biomedia. As you can see here, <laughs> me filling up that bowl, the water is just so green and you can hardly see through it. You can probably see about an inch below the surface, if that. And now you'll see that the drain has begun and I've absolutely drained so much of the water down. I'm going for a 90% water change here. Here's a few of the foams and a few of the bits of the biomedia that I've got in the bowl, cleaning those out. I'm giving this a full water change. And I wouldn't ordinarily suggest doing a full water change. You can also see the UV as well there. But doing a full water change is quite common for Chop View Ranchu Keepers. And I'm making sure that that water that goes back into that pond is exactly the same temperature and I have treated it with a strong or good dechlorinator. Now, before we fill the pond up, we've still got to drain it a little bit. And you can see I showed you a little close-up of the dual bifo filter and that UV. And I'm actually going to be connecting them up with a bit of flexi pipe. Now, ordinarily, the water would return out of that dual bifo straight back into the pond. However, it's going to have a bit of pipe, as you can see here, which goes around the back, out of that out of the pump, round the back, into the UV, and then it pumps back into the filter. Now this is gonna take a, quite a few days to clear, but luckily you will see by the end of the episode, that'll be nice and clear. And you'll also notice there is the UV sitting nicely behind the pond. And I'm gonna put a little cover over it as well to make sure it doesn't get too damp or wet. However, I will likely be removing this for winter because we don't get too much sun and all, all the algae will likely die off anyway. So that is the UV installed finishing the drain down you can see the electrical box behind here which is an absolute mess look at the state of the plug that's on the uv that's got to be cut off rewired we're actually going to be fitting an electrical box which is having lots of nice little buttons on it so i can turn everything on and off you also notice that i have the light that's going to illuminate the tank and we're actually going to get that fitted onto the fence area just finishing the drain down now before filling it back up. I have the ranchu in the little bowl, just so they aren't lying on their sides or injuring each other, bashing into anything, etc. Got them in the little bowl, starting to fill up that water now, and then I'll release them back in once I've got a couple inches of water in there. You'll notice the fresh water coming in and starting to mix with that green water. And although the pond is still gonna be green once we fill it up because that algae just somehow manages to make the water look so green once the uv has come into effect after a few days it will slowly start to clear it up so now you can see the pond is completely full again we did a 90 95 percent water change but the pond is still green but at least we can see the fish the colors are looking so vibrant because that green water is great for the skin quality and it's really good for the fish it has loads of different benefits i have done a video previously on that in the past but you'll notice the pond is still green. So hopefully that UV is gonna to start to get to work clearing the water. And once we've done that, we're gonna actually start finishing this pond. I did mention at the beginning of the video, we're gonna get this pond finished. And that is involving finally putting those capping stones on the top lip and the front lip where the window is of the pond. So finally, you can see we have the Indian sandstone slabs. So those are going to be cut to fit the pond. I've got a few marks on the back of them where I've used a grinder to mark them up so I know where I need to cut them and they're just going to be cut with a diamond tip blade angle grinder and as you can see start to position them on the top of the pond and move them around Finally, I can, I'm, I've been waiting for, I would say, nearly a year to do this, maybe longer. It's been absolute ages, but finally, those capping stones are going to go on. And as you can see, the pond is now finished. We've got all of those capping stones on there. The water is starting to clear up. You're going to see the finished product in just a second. But I'm so happy. The pond looks so much better. Filled in all of the gaps with grey silicon to match the tiles and to match the slabs. And overall, it's looking so much better and it it just looks absolutely great so check out the finished product which i'm just going to show in a second here it is the pond is now completely finished i'm absolutely stoked with it it looks absolutely amazing we got all of the indian sandstone on top and as you can see finally we can see the fishes got the uv fitted also got the um box fitted on the back just show you that now as you can see we've got this switch box on the back so i've got the lights connected up here 
hopefully you can see that and then that also turns on the lights that are fitted throughout the garden and as you can see the water is absolutely crystal clear you can see all of the fish the Japanese top view ranch you're looking absolutely amazing I'm super happy with it just check them out hopefully get some more this year now it's nice and clear starting to feed them up now I can see them I'm definitely giving them a lot more food as well they're having like four or five feeds a day something like that lots of water changes lots of food and hopefully by the end of the year they all get to sort of the size of the two big guys if not a little bit bigger so that is it that is the end of the video I'm gonna put in probably a little shot of the garden in the dark with the lights on because it looks absolutely great but yeah that is it hopefully you enjoyed this little video and good to see the ranch you as always hopefully do a little bit more updates on these guys now we can actually see them but you would have noticed i've done quite a few instagram pictures and videos of these guys as well before this video came out so that is it for today's video thank you for watching remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping